This little video card has absolutely fascinated people since I posted this video about pulling my uh, 4090 out of my computer and replacing it with this casino slot machine video card. Um, so I thought you guys might like to see what we're actually working with here. So I have kind of a lineup of video cards here of, of common sizes. So this is the slot machine video card. It's a, a Radeon Pro W5500. I don't think it actually says W5500 on it anywhere. Let's look on the back. It might. Okay, I'm sorry, it does. Yep, right there. Okay, and then what I have sitting next to it. So I lined them up from back to, to front. So sitting next to it, I have a GeForce GTX 950, which anyone that knows what that is knows that it's a, sm a fairly small card. So what we have here is a card basically, it's about, it's about half, maybe a little less than half the actual total footprint and size and mass of a 950. Then we go up a step. <clears throat> we have a fairly large variant of the 1080. This is a 1080 FTW2. Very nice um, uh, GeForce, I'm sorry, EVGA variant of the card. And then we have the big boy, the RTX 4090 that absolutely dwarfs all the other cards. Um, so, yeah, I thought you guys might like to actually see what we're looking at. And that also gives you an idea of why exactly this card is so cool. Because it's, it's about... So we put it next to this. It's it's within spitting distance of the performance of a 1080 non-TI. It, it I don't think in I don't think in real world usage it would hit the same. Um, in theory, I wouldn't be surprised if the I don't know the teraflops or whatever flops they're always talking about on these video cards. As far as pure raw power, I wouldn't be surprised if the number were higher on the Radeon just because it's a lot newer than a 1080. However, actual in-game performance doesn't shake out that way. Actual in-game performance, uh, I'll, I'll have to do some comparisons, but it's, it's going to be lower than a 1080. My guess is it'll sit anywhere from a 980 Ti up to a 1080 on less than ideal circumstances. Um, but the thing with the, uh, the Radeon Pro, if you can get it in, in a similar way to the way I did, if you can get it for free, or let's say sub $50. Any Anything more than that, you're better off to buy a used 1080 unless you just can't. If you have to have the, the size and power efficiency of a card like this, I, I still wouldn't buy that. I would probably still, I still wouldn't buy the Radeon. I'd probably buy like a, oh, I don't know. I guess there, no, there aren't a lot of single slot options. There's some short, there's some short dual slot options. So, I mean, I guess... I mean, I guess a card like this or one of the GeForce options, I just, I don't have enough information to, 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 to suggest this versus a comparable GeForce small form factor. My mind says go with, go, or not GeForce, but um, NVIDIA. Uh, something tells me go with the NVIDIA option over the AMD. It's just all the numbers I've looked at suggest that the NVIDIA cards are superior for this. Um, but if you can get this again for a giveaway price, um, you know, sub market value, which I've been able to determine to be about about one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, it's it's a cool little toy to play with, and I'm gonna hold on to it and not put it in a system that I sell, just because I um, I have uses every now and then. I have uses for a card that dimension. So once I'm done with all these quote casino video card usage things, um, I'm going to, I'm still going to hold on to the card and I'm going to have it on hand for when I need a modern capable card, but not an insane amount of power, but something small. Cause every now and then I do need something like that. So anyway, I hope you guys find this informative and I hope it gives you an idea of what we're looking at and why this card is so interesting beyond the fact that it came out of a casino slot machine. Anyway, thanks for watching.